Hey guys, welcome back to some more Volume 1. So today, Sunday, means we are using Shadal Bell, And I am not completely sure how this will go. Because, you know, the deck just came out. Shadal just came out in uh, TCG. Everybody and their mother wants to play the deck. So, you know, I'm not completely sure if, you know, as soon as I play a Shadal card, people are going to be like, Oh, you're using, of course you're using that deck, quit. And I'm going to be like... Well, I, the deck has synergy with you, Bell, and it, it, I was playing the deck before it even became, you know, meta, and, uh, well, you know, because you know, it was always, people are always pretty interested in it, but, you know, I, I you know, it, I played it before it came out in the TCG, it's been on here for a cool minute now, and now, since it's out, probably no one wants to do the deck, and I, I don't blame them, I don't completely blame them. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and try our best here. Well, that's fine. I don't mind drawing you, Bell, I guess. No, not really. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get me a Kage. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard Special Summon, Normal Summon. In fact, I already have you, Bell, so there's only one other person to drop, and then as soon as I probably drop this card, my opponent's probably gonna quit. <coughs> quit. So, if I were, oh, you using Shadold? Quit, and I'll be like, God damn it! Cause I know it's it's really hard for me to find a uh, good duel with this deck, all right. But this person seems like they're a noob, so I might be able to get away with the duel. I'll go ahead and go into King of Feral Limbs, of course. King of Feral Limbs will go ahead and detach, and go ahead and get me Mask Chameleon. And so far, everything is going perfectly fine. You know, I have uh, I have a uh, Falco. It changed his name from Falcon to Falco. Like, okay. Hey. Oh, it is level five. I just thought it was an 18 attack monster. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm like, okay, you just summoned an 18 beater. <laughs> I, this guy's so old, I forgot that is. You know what? I don't even care. Don't even care. Fine. You can have it. You can have it because you're not quitting. That's your word for not quitting against me. You can summon no <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was like, okay, 18 attack normal monster. I see those all the time. I see monsters that are stronger than that. Then I just, then if you didn't bring it up that it was all five, like, you guys are probably like, damn, it was all five. Like, <laughs> card's too old. But anyway, I, 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 my hand's too good for me to quit or argue right now. I like this hand, so I'll, I'll allow you to get away with it. Are you having a hard time with the math? It's 500. Minus 500. It's not that hard. <laughs> But yeah, Stars are now out. Uh, they put an extra, they slapped on an extra D. Not changing that on the thumbnail, nor am I going to change it on the title. I don't care. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm not going to play this deck. I'm actually going to try to. Clearly... Why did you summon your monster back? It's not automated. You have to type it in, sir. You have to type it in. Okay, and if you can't even figure out how to type in your own lamb life points, then I, I, I can't chill with you, I'm sorry. So I'm clearly trying to beat it, actually, you need to get me some Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. Not for my Yubel deck, clearly, but no, for my uh, Constellar deck. Because I thought I had some, I, and I looked in my, my staple binder, and I looked, and I was like, I don't have Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, where the hell did they go? You know? So, I guess I don't, so I guess I'll probably just ask my friends and be like, Hey, you got any Shadow and Prison Mirrors? Need them for my side deck, because fuck Infernities, fuck Evil Swarms, and fuck, clearly, fuck shit all. So, definitely. Yes, I drew into my one beast. Oh well, I can still go ahead and fuse if I want to. Go ahead and go into Winda, whatever the fuck its name is. Because why'd you change it? <laughs> why'd you change it? Alright. I'm gonna activate this. Okay. Cause I want these two in the graveyard. That's that's the reason why I'm activating. I want these two in the graveyard. I'm gonna activate this, fuse into these two into um into Winda. Or I'm I'm mid rash. Mid fucking rash. I swear to god I'm not calling it that. So go ahead and fuse you two into you. Uh Beast and Dragon effect. So Dragon go ahead and pop that and Beast will go ahead and draw me the card. The jog, that's fine. Ooh, that mirror force, that wouldn't have worked on me anyway. That wouldn't have worked on me anyway. Tap. Marshmallow. 
Oh, that's going to be a pain in the dick to handle. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get away in that situation. I think I run Diamond Dyer in here, but I guess I, sh I, sh I can exchange Diamond Dyer for Castell at this point. But it's for popping you bell, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and foolish. I'm gonna go ahead and foolish. Oh wait, I have Squat Squatmata. Why did they change it to squ Squatmata? Why not Lizard? Why Konami? Stop! And they changed the card text. Uh, Falco effect. Even though I still call them Falcon, like I'm just so used to calling them their original names. So I'll go ahead and set you. And what do you do? Uh, destroy target one monster and feel destroyed. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you because I have a normal summon this turn. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set you. Go ahead. So when Falco flips up, I'll grab Beast again, and when Dragon flips up, I'll go ahead and destroy that pesky little Marshall one that's on the field. Pesterizing me and stuff. So far, we haven't gotten any quitters, so that's good. Totally don't mind not getting any quitters. You can only special summon once a turn, so... Nope, you're just gonna go ahead and pass it. That's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip summon. Give Falco's effect. I will go ahead and set beast. Set. I will flip summons. Lizard. I'm not gonna call it fucking that. No one's gonna call it that. Like Konami, stop changing the damn names. At least it's not dragon. Dragon bounces. Lizard pops. That's one of the really good things about um about shit all since lizard and dragon then foot three flippers three bouncers like it's pretty good pretty good like, when you when you're not worrying about the fusions you're worrying about the flip those guys that flip and bounce your shit uh my only problems and i'm from with your dolls and the reasons why you know despite me running a xc deck and of course uh you know me running an xc deck you know they're gonna dish your doll fusion from their uh from their hand from their deck is that I have please, which is pretty fast. So you know, if you don't have Shadal Fusion, please gonna bounce your monster, so you're not even flipped. So you're wasting these turns setting your shit. So I'm gonna take advantage of you being so slow and you setting and just bounce you, bounce you, bounce you. You never get any flips. You never get any pluses. Now, if you have Shadal Fusion, of course, you're still gonna be able to fuse. You're gonna get those effects that you send to the graveyard by the card effect of Shadal Fusion. But I can still bounce your fusion. I can still bounce your midrash. I can still bounce your nephilim. I know. I know they're not called that anymore. What is it? Was it? Uh, Uh, oh, you okay? Okay, this card special some dark effort. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So there's your special summon. There's your one special summon. Um, what is it? Winda and Construct. Is that his name? Construct. Yeah. And God, they're expensive right now. That's fine. Damn. You can't. You can't. Synchro. Winda effect. Yep, then you quit. I know, I know how badly you wanted to go for the Armadies, but you couldn't. These, these special summon the Dark Reference. There's just one special summon. Go ahead and get another duel in. If it seems a little bit, uh, seems a little bit choppy, the video, uh, I'm rendering a video. I, I'm. I finally uh, figured out and I'm trying to attempt to uh, uh, render while I upload, but it does seem like it slows my computer down a little bit, so it may not be the wisest decision to do. Alright, well, that's really easy. Set. <laughs> it's set. When I get flipped up, I'm going to go ahead and grab me a uh, Shadal Spot Trap. I don't like that they reworded the card text because now it's weird for me to read. Who are we going up against? Who invented lag? I don't know. Ooh, uh-oh. This is bad. If we're going against heroes, freaking Dark Law. And Dark Law is such a champ. Like, he, he puts in that work. Like, you don't even understand. You can't eat him. You can't eat him. Sure. It was just MST. He MST'd my MST. You, I guess you don't want to get stopped by your place. That's fine. You said that one background and your opponent definitely wants to just throw the MST at you, so I guess that's fine. That's fine. Oh 
of course, let me go ahead and get a Shadow Fusion. Let me st stop lagging. Stop. Put you in my hand, of course, and send you to the graveyard. Now, this hand is not the best right now. Because he doesn't have anything summoned from the extra deck. Wow, that top deck into a T-King. It's too damn strong, though. I could. It might be for the best. And I would have a nice beater that stops all his special summon monsters. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to activate Shadal Fusion. Okay, top deck into that T-King, though. Top deck into any monster would have been nice, though. And I got Dragon, too. So I can go ahead and say Dragon. Dragon will go ahead and get its effect. And I can send an additional one with, uh, with Construct. Uh, uh, dragon effect chain. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm summoned. Here we go. Dragon effect chain. My effect chain fiendish chain. So fiendish chain would will go off. Negate my effect and then dragon will pop. Dragon effect. So yeah, my effect is negated because it's. It's in between the chain. It would be in, in between Venus Chain and Dragon. So I would miss because Venus Chain would go off. Venus Chain would negate my effect. Why did you put it back in your hand? What? What? No. Dragon destroys a spell slash trap when sent to grave by card effect. Okay. Go and attack. You got that honest? Nope. Okay. So you take 900. I'll go ahead and set these two. And pass. So the video is almost done rendering. I can't, rem I can't remember if I turned off pop-up or, or turned it on. So if a video ends up popping up right in the middle of this video with videoception, then I, my bad and I apologize ahead of time. I just can't remember. So I guess we'll find out. Bubbly man. That's fine. Miracle fusion. Sure. Sure. I guess not. Shining or absolute zero. Shining. Sure. That's fine. He must not know about Shadals because he's about to run into a construct, and construct is gonna bitch slap him in the face if he tries to attack me. But <sighs> yeah, you clearly don't know nothing about Shadals. Seriously, go ahead and get your cards back. I don't care. Give a shit about that. Is Shining's effect mandatory? Once the card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target up to two of your banished monsters. Oh, nope. Not mandatory, so I'm not going to tell you shit. Sounds just like me, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no. No one reads F card effects anymore. Oh, now you get it. During my turn. That's fine. I'll allow you to get it. Fine. I'll allow you to get it. Like, you, you clearly would have missed time. But I'll allow you to get it. I'll allow it. Uh, da 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 I will almost have an Armageddon right. Right. I deserve some serious damage. I'm gonna go ahead and send Dragon. Dragon effect. Go ahead and destroy. I'm about to get that good damage in. No chain? It doesn't matter. Well, he could hit Armageddon Knight with it. No chain? You can hit Armageddon Knight, and then Armageddon Knight will have to sit down for the rest of the turn, but... Okay. Okay, then put it. I'm, I'm fine with ending the video here. Oh, the video's done rendering. Alright. Thank you, then. You want to be a sore loser like that? That's fine. <laughs>
All right, so that's it for today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm Wired. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Ebel Beat. Thanks for watching.